Got a lawnmower with a very dangerous problem. It's gonna be an easy fix, but let me start it up and you'll see how much it's vibrating and then we will get to the problem. vibration it's got a new blade but the blade was installed upside down so first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the spark plug before we work under here because hypothetically if you have your spark plug hooked up if you're turning the blade the engine could start so disconnect your spark plug and make sure the plug wire is out of the way securely out of the way because sometimes you know they have a memory and they can bounce back so make sure it is secured out of the way, and if you want to be really safe, you can take your spark plug out. How do I know this blade is on upside down? If you have your mower tilted back like mine is with the handle on the ground, you want to see the cutting edge of the blade right here facing you because the blade turns counterclockwise. So as the engine's running, it's going to cut the grass with the sharp edge facing you. And right now, the sharp edge is on the back side. Like right here, that's a sharp edge but it is spinning backwards. So the sharp edge is not cutting. And these two protrusions, these two little ears, they are sticking farther down, making it more likely that you are gonna hit a root or a stump or maybe your sidewalk, concrete, whatever. You want the cutting edge to be the low point. And also with the blade on upside down, it will not lock on securely to the blade adapter. Because they're two little bumps or protrusions or pins, whatever you want to call them, that are on the blade adapter itself, right here. And you want those to go down through these two holes. And that helps to lock the blade onto the blade adapter. And also on the back side of this, there are two little bumps on the back side of this as well. And those fit into the holes on this side. So now, like I mentioned earlier, what's lowest is the cutting edge of the blade. And those two protrusions, the ears, they're sticking up. As the mower's running, turns in this direction counterclockwise, the cutting edge hits the grass, those protrusions lift the grass up that you've cut, and that's how the blade should be installed, not with these sticking down. Here we go, 50 foot pounds or 50 pound feet of torque, I should say. So now when I lower it down and crank it up, that vibration should be gone. Don't forget to reconnect spark plug. So we're good with the blade make sure that the cutting edge is facing you because it turns counterclockwise and also make sure that those little ears are pointing upwards easy as that 